Hello, everybody. Welcome to Wednesday. The S&P 500 is down 1.1%. Uh, the big news today was the price of oil moving up. Uh, and we've got, you know, nearly an all time high happening here for this, you know, kind of modern term. Uh, we hit higher uh, oil back in 2007. But uh, nonetheless, one of the things that is really concerning the market is we're seeing some of the earnings reports coming out uh, that are talking about, you know, missing their earnings like Target did, uh, and basically saying that they had a much higher cost of transportation than expected. Uh, and so the more that this becomes an issue, the more the market's going to worry about future earnings. Also, the market it's going to be worrying about what the Federal Reserve has to do to kind of slow down the economy to maybe try to slow down the demand for for energy as a whole. Uh, and uh, you know, when when the market's worried about the Federal Reserve, the Treasury market starts to pay more. So the ten-year Treasury has moved up over three percent, and that's kind of I call it a competitive asset class. So if you can make say eventually five percent on a Treasury in some uh, some version of it, and all of a sudden you know you're you're averaging eleven percent in the S and P. 500, you might be moving more money to treasuries, which again is a negative to the stock market. So you can see what's happening in terms of what the market's doing. However, if you look closely, the market you know hasn't really done much for the last eight days. It's been trading in a very tight range, uh, and you know although the market was down today, it was up yesterday, etc. So uh, one of the questions that was posed to me was just about you know what do you do uh, you know in these ranges. So really, right now, I don't do anything because uh, the ranges don't tell me a lot. Uh, if, it, if it falls out of that range and we still don't have signals that a recession's coming, which I don't have in my major signals, then I'm going to wait for it to fall down to a point where I call the stretch. Got a couple of indicators I'm looking for, and I'll start to nibble and start to dollar cost average in at that lower point. If we break out of the top of the range, I will also be looking to buy at least some and nibble back in at that point also, just because again, now that we've gone sideways for a while, we've created some good support level. If the price does fall back down, it can oftentimes hold up there. Uh, but the next resistance level is a little ways away. So it gives the market some room to run uh, as far as that goes. So uh, that's my strategy. I'll look for either direction uh, as far as that goes. Uh, and see what happens, but I don't do anything while it's in the range. Uh, just wait. I do think Friday's CPI report is what the market's waiting for. If something's going to break us out of the range, uh, it could be that uh, one way or another uh, as far as that goes. So anyway, look forward to seeing what's going to happen tomorrow. Thank you very much.